What up, what up, Wheatfield, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. Welcome back to the Tears and Wheat to Roll show where you show up, never know what you're going to get. Guess what, y'all? We hit 4K. 4K! Yay! I'm so excited! Yes! 4K subscribers. Whew, I remember when we got them first four. It was like, yes, we're going to get more, more, more. All the week, all the week, all the week. And for us to be gone for like three weeks, a hiatus for three weeks, we just got back into this yesterday, back into the studio, back into giving messages. We needed a rest. We were doing a lot of stuff going on, uh, moving and carrying on and all that good stuff and getting settled in. And now we pretty much settled. We working it out. We getting, you know. It's going to change a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit, some details here and there. That's just how your girl is. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all's wheat, what it do. Welcome to the wheat field, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to you. I cannot get over it. 4K strong. 4K. Okay. I can't wait till we put another, uh... A zero behind that foe, and a zero, and a zero, and a zero. We just gonna keep on going, keep on growing, keep on moving, keep on pushing. Thank you so much for being here with me through it. We don't want these cards. I don't know why I'm getting it. I'm just talking. And, uh, yeah, celebrating. Cel no, spirits ain't now. We want these, though. We're going to get these out. We're going to get a couple of little messages. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I pray everybody rested well. I pray that you have had a great day. That your rising has been good. That you are going having a good ascension. You know that your descent into the evening is decent. That is peaceful. Uh, that you have made some accomplishments or it was productive. And even if it wasn't, you know... It just is what it is and that you good with it. However it ended up, be good with it. Because, I mean, first of all, you can't go back and change that shit. If anybody got a uh, patent on an invention where you can go back and change some stuff, then let me know. But at the end of the day, it all worked out the way that it's supposed to anyway. Right? Because we talked about that on yesterday's uh, rising message. That some things are supposed to happen. We have events coming to our life so that synchronization can take place. That way, the infinite intelligence gets to working and get to moving so thy will, the alpha and omegas, will be done. Yeah. Put that right there. Right here. All right. We're just going to set it down. You want this one too? All right. We're going to get these out. The alpha and omega are with us always, always. And I ask for them to come forward. Well, they already here. They already in the forefront. But put me behind you. Make sure I'm tucked back. Pull me back, spirit. And make sure you out in the forefront. I got to step aside in the back and make sure so that I'm not doing too much. You know how I mean? Because I be interfering with what they trying to say and what they trying to do. I'm grabbing a wrong deck of cards. They like, what is you doing? Slow down. You just moving and doing stuff and just doing stuff. You know, I was playing with this here deck. They like, you just doing something. You want something in there? No, you want something in here? Yes, okay. It's not in here. Oh, bread of life. They just want me to read this. <laughs> bread of life. Go to the most high to get their bread, right? Because man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that proceeds out of the Maha, the Alpha and Omega, what they say. Live by the word, yes, and have the word go out before you so that you can stay in the right way. Yes, that animating force, the breath of life. Calm, center, you know, get you in alignment. Stay in alignment with your intuition, yourself, your highest self, so that you can just flow. Upload, download. Upload, download. Calm. Yes, we ready. Yes, yes, we ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, Alpha and Omega say, let's get it. Yes. 
we got a couple of little uh i don't know what the name of this deck of cards is i really don't i forgot but something is saying no not the right time and things are at a standstill for somebody uh we gotta be patient so something is not the right time and things are at a standstill. Somebody has, is being called to exercise their patience, to increase their measure of patience, right? Pull up that barometer and your measure. Like, is this where they're at with it? No, where they're at down here. Ah, uh, Spirit says, raise up patience, right? Speak out patience. I am patient. I am patient. Oh, this is an opportunity to be patient through. Yeah, I got something like that, I think. Yeah, a little fuzzy. Anywho, this is an opportunity that's causing me to be patient. I'll tell you a testimony. Yeah, strength is here. Strength. Being patient develops your strength. And when you exercise your strength, you are also exercising patience. Yeah. This strength has nothing to do with the physicality. It is the strength that helps a person, big or small, to persevere, be patient, wait, and adversity, to overcome challenges, to deal with pressure and stress. It is not a natural gift that you either have or you don't. It comes from the mind, from knowing yourself, and can be cultivated throughout life. I feel like somebody is in a season where their patience and their strength is being cultivated. Mm -hmm. We talked about that yesterday, that you have to have events and things that happen, infirmities that come towards you, that you have to praise through. You glorify your infirmities, those things that uh, cause you dis-ease, discomfort, uh, frustration piss you the hell off basically yeah you gonna have to throw some strength and uh patience perseverance dig into your mental strength because this isn't a physicality thing it's spiritual to build up your spiritual strength or to really pull that out and exercise your spiritual strength you have to be mentally strong and keep that in the forefront boop right here of your mind <clears throat> With introspection and practice, we can build our inner strength with each new experience. And that's pretty much what we just said. Introspection, you know, going into self and managing your thoughts, right? You might be feeling a certain kind of way. You feeling a certain kind of way. You could be feeling real frustrated, real stressed out, you know what I mean? Feeling the pressure of life or certain events or things that's happening. But to go into yourself and review and look at your thoughts to be introspective and and really analyze self, seeing what your heart space is doing, looking at it, and digging into your mental state. Like, okay, I have to get control of my thoughts. I feel a certain kind of way, but what am I thinking about how I'm feeling? Managing those two will help you manage what you speak, managing that word that goes out before you. Because we don't live by bread alone, not just the physical. We live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Most High God. And if you are made in the image and the likeness of the Most High God, then you have, well, you're going to eat what you speak. So it's very important for you to call back those words and ask the Most High, the Alpha and Omega, to bind them up and cast them down so that they do not present the error onto your life. But if you are not mindful and you just kind of spouting shit out, then guess what's going to come back in? Something is calling you to be patient, to exercise your patience, to increase your patience. You have patience. You do. You have patience. Patience is with you. It's an attribute. It's a principle to exercise patience. Because something is definitely not the right time, and you may feel like you're at a standstill. If you're not in this season, it could be coming. Tolerance is here. You may have to tolerate something that's going to pressure you. Kindness. Meet it with kindness. 
Now this is definitely testimony to me too. Cause huh, it's real easy to get real when somebody pressing on all six trillion of your nerves. Not down to the last one. I'm saying like all six trillion of your nerves is active. And they stepping on every last one of them. And you just want to But you can't, right? You might just want to... Mm. <laughs> Most high, come get your kid. Because I'm just going to walk away and go this way, Alpha. Mm -hmm. They being exactly what you called them to be in this moment. Omega, please deliver on to me that which I need in order to be tolerant, to be kind, to be patient. To exercise the patience that I have built in. Because my frustration level is saying, I'm about to just. But if I stop and think about what's happening, is it worth me blowing up? Is it worth the consequences and repercussions of blowing up? Did I learn the lesson of the pressure? <laughs> that said, no. And guess what happened when you don't learn that lesson? You gotta retest. So it could be something that you uh might have missed the mark on on that first time. And guess what? It's coming back. It's coming back. And I just heard it in short order. Cause something is definitely not the right time and things are at a standstill. It's something that you have to persevere through. It's something that you have to be tolerant with. And the advice is to meet it with kindness. Tolerance. We can be of great support to those around us by being tolerant and accepting of their weaknesses. In exercising tolerance with others, we allow them to be themselves. Ooh. And we embrace the differences between us that makes life interesting. We allow them to be themselves. And we embrace, what does it say? The differences between us that makes life interesting. Embracing the differences between us that keeps things interesting. If everybody was the same, that shit would be boring as hell. Anywho, by exercising patience, ah ha ha, be patient. This says, by exercising patience, and understanding we can achieve more inner tranquility because it's about self. It's about you being tranquil and peaceful and, harmon and, and harmonious and balanced within self. Because it's really about you, beloved. It ain't about the other person. It's about you. That other person is a reflection that's coming to you to pressure you, to grow you, to teach you, to learn you. To make you morph and evolve into your highest version of you. So your highest version of you is tolerant. They're peaceful. They're patient. They're understanding. They give empathy, sympathy, and compassion onto others for the sake of understanding. And when we understand a person, it helps us become more knowledgeable. We know which bag to come out of and how to approach it. And this right here is telling us that we should approach it with kindness and tolerance so that we can embrace the differences between us. And those differences keep things interesting. Puts more positivity and respect into a world that at times seems too intolerant. Given a dose of positivity. Giving a dose of respect into a world that is very intolerant. Expecting everybody to be the same, to think the same, to worship the same, to practice the same, to uh, just mentally operate the same. We will not. We are all individual, unique pieces of the Most High God itself. None of us are designed to be the same. But yet, we can recognize that we're not the same, but yet we also want people to act the same. We want them to think the same and to respond the same, the same itself, because it makes it easier on us. 
We don't have to do the work of being patient, of being tolerant, of being introspective and looking at why does this piss me off? Why? Now for me, a girl, I can't, I do not like liars. I do not. Mm, mm, mm. I don't. I really don't. It's something about it that just, oh. Because why just tell the truth? It's so much easier to just tell. Now, I'm not saying that telling the truth all the time is easy, but because it's not. But to keep up with a bunch of lies takes way more effort. I mean, because this lie didn't work. Now, you got to remember the lie that you told, and they told a different version of the lie. And they'd be like, I'm not even lying. Oh, well, you just telling alternative facts and, and, and just various versions of your truth that don't match up to the truth of what really happened. Like, I was sitting there watching you. I heard you. It was a witness right there with me. And we both heard you tell a whole different version of the truth. You on your third version of the truth. So, is that, I mean, like, you can't even admit to the fact that you a liar. I got to get some tolerance on that. For sure. You know what? They are a fiction teller. You know what I mean? Maybe they'll be a story writer in one day. Because they definitely are very creative in rearranging the events in such a way that benefits them. And the narrative that they want to display in any time. That was good. That was a good positive reframe. Where we going? Uh-huh. Buddha, Divine Feminine. Let's get some of that. You want another one? You want this one too? Divine masculine. Alpha and Omega wants to speak. Let's see. Masculine. See what the Omega got to say. Don't be sitting up there like I said that the Omega is a Buddha. I didn't say that. I just said that this energy is masculine and that's the Omega. So don't come for me in the comments. Knowing that you shall pass away, how can you quarrel and let bitterness hurt you? How can we quarrel and let bitterness harden our hearts knowing that everything shall pass away, even ourselves? Like we let situations and things that people do make us hard towards one another, very intolerant. And all of us shall pass. All of us has a, 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 a death. All of us owe a transition. All of us are here for a limited time in this experience. Do we get a chance to experience and operate with one another? So why let the second circumstances of those things that shall pass be patient? It's not the right time. It's not the right now. It may seem like that is, is that a standstill. It's a standstill. But that doesn't mean it's going to be forever. It's not cemented. It's not concreted in that one place. Because whatever is still concrete and is going to eventually pass away, Mother Earth reclaims all things. You let all these buildings just stand here without no maintenance and without no care and somebody keep re-establishing and re-fortifying uh, that foundation and them bricks and mortars and all that stuff, Mother Earth will take that right back and break it right back down. What's time to Mother Earth? You, you, it's, humans stop being around here and, and, and nature takes over come and look at the landscape in a hundred years and see what it look like let a house sit there on your block for a good five ten years and don't nobody keep up the lawn you wouldn't even be able to see that house back there Nature done reclaimed it and it's going to break all that material right back down and return it from whence it came because we are really made of the same properties anyway it's an illusion that we are different like that. And to experience the difference in thought processes and physicalities and how we act and interact with one another just makes life interesting. It, 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 it pushes you to grow and evolve yourself, your spiritual self. Don't let people in circumstances that you've had with them harden you and make you bitter. Let's see what Alpha has to say about it. Female energy, female wisdom. Let's look within for a place of rest, your temple of heart. Look within. 
We said introspection. Look into your heart. What does your heart do? What does your heart do, beloved? Let's look within for a place of rest. Your temple of the heart. Going into the heart because you don't want to be bitter. You don't want to be hardened. You want to have patience. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You know what I mean? I can't tell you fuck shit what to do. It's all up to you how you resonate. Once I and mine are given up, there's no limit to individual. There's only the wisdom which pervades everything. There's no such thing as I and mine. Everything belongs unto the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega that called all things by its intelligence. It's intelligence, it's word, moving on a breath of life that animates, connects, and binds all things. Working in tandem with the word to, so that everything can be. It is what they have called. It is thy will be done, not my will. It's not I, it's not mine. This growth is not unto me. It's unto the most high God, unto the Alpha and to the Omega that was sent me to speak a word. In its likeness, in its image. And therefore, we are responsible for the words that we speak. We are accountable. Which is probably one of the reasons why I can't stand, you know, them people who like to change facts and alternative narratives and things like that. Because you're, it's a distortion. It's not what, I mean, like, I don't know, I can't call it like that. Because whatever it is, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, we are accountable for the words. And if you speak out in alternative facts, then you are generating an alternative reality. It's a distortion. And it only comes back on to others. So maybe then that's why I shouldn't get so upset about it. Like, why? Because, again, what you speak is what you will eat. So if you are a liar and you do not tell the truth, then you are calling lies and untruths onto self. Why should I be mad about what? Because you, you want to live a life of lies. That has nothing to do with lie T. No. In birth, decay, death, sorrow, and turmoil, be the seer of the ultimate reality with faith and serenity. I say, yeah, somebody doesn't. It's upside down. You cannot be the seer of, ultimate, of the ultimate reality with faith and serenity when you are a liar. You cannot. And maybe that's why it bothers me. You know what I mean? Because like, I do have a genuine love for people. I, genu I genuinely, authentically want people to live their best life. And you can't do that when you're lying. You can't you're going to call more liars into your life. You're going to call people who will treat you the same way that you treat other people. But again, everything shall pass. Because we are born. Things will decay and break down. There will be a death. And that can make you feel sorrowful. And it can cause turmoil. And people have emotions. But in every situation, no matter what it is, be the seer of the ultimate reality with faith and serenity. It's definitely a challenge, especially in a world where there's intolerance. Like, we don't tolerate each other. We don't. We don't see that the differences between us, even those differences that causes us stress and frustration, uh, are there to make life interesting. That was interesting. I had got into a habit of just saying that. That's, that was my model for patience. To just look at it and be like, hmm, that was interesting. What say you? Interesting. Yeah. What say you? But she said, it's interesting. It is what it was called to be. Interesting. Oh, we like another one. Yes. Chakra. We sitting up here with the third eye. That's what's on the front. That intuition. When it's balanced, we have a deep awareness, an ability to use our intuition and discriminate between right and wrong. Mental clarity, focus, and having clairvoyant abilities. When it is 
unbalanced, we have poor judgment, uncertainty, and indecisiveness. The inability to use our intuition and enter a deep state of contemplation. So right now, if somebody is being called to come to balance, to be patient, something is not the right time and things are at a standstill, it is because you are being called to increase your judgment, to come to balance, to enter into a deep state of contemplation so that you can clear any confusion and brain fog and, and refocus yourself. Refocus on maybe your calling, that which, which you were called to do or what's being told to you or what has been told on to you. And we split right here on affirmations of the heart chakra. affirmations of the heart chakra and we have essential oils for balancing the heart chakra so maybe as you enter and do some self-care you know maybe you can get some uh rose oil you know it has a soothing comforting and uplift uplifting and sensual qualities you know it has a rich sweet and floral aroma and it's a research says that it reduces anxiety and induces relaxation and calmness. Mm, calmness. That goes right along with patience and tolerance. We also have neroli. That's another one. It's an essential oil that has a relaxing, soothing, and uplifting quality. It has a fresh and floral, sweet, citrusy aroma. And research suggests it has a soothing and calming effect as well. Reducing anxiety and improving mood. So you could get a rose oil or a rose candle with neroli neroli oil or rose oil candle maybe you can find those essential oils and put them inside of a different carrier oil like your coconut oil or something like that and you can put it on your skin you can even rub it behind your ears i feel like oh now here you know where we put our little perfume marks you know somewhere where you can smell it you know and uh you can even get you maybe a fan or something and spritz it on your fan. And then when you go like this, you can smell, you know, the scent is just calming. This right here can be like a fidget thing too, like to exercise that energy and get it out. And then it's also with the scent. So it's like, not only are you cooling yourself off with the air, but you smell something, you feel something, the physicality and all those things kind of work together to get that energy out. And, uh, transmute it so that you can let it go let you let it fall away put you in a whole different mindset anywho affirmations of the heart chakra i love accept and forgive myself and others unconditionally Ooh, tolerance what did that say in exercising tolerance with others we allow them to be themselves that's forgiveness to allow them to be themselves yeah, and we embrace the differences between us that make life interesting. I am open to give and receive love. Yes, it says by exercising patience and understanding, we can achieve more inner tranquility and put more positivity and respect into a world that at times seems too intolerant. That is giving love so that you can receive that love back. My heart is open and I am listening to it. Are you listening to it? Do you take the time to separate your thoughts from your feelings? Use your mind. Go in and think mentally. What am I feeling and why am I feeling it? Am I being called to be more patient? Is this at a standstill right now because it's simply not the right time? My heart is opening and I'm listening to it and I feel compassion. I show kindness to others. I show kindness to others. And we had that at the very beginning. Kindness. Showing kindness to others. You see how he giving her some flowers? Just to be nice. That right there keeps us from being bitter. It keeps us from a, the, having the things, the circumstances of life that come against us from making us hard. 
on the inside. Five principles for health and spiritual growth. Just for today, I will not be angry. Just for today, I will not be angry. Just for today, I will not worry. No. Just for today, I will be grateful for my many blessings. I'm grateful for my blessings. Blessing is one of those ones, those folks in my life that make it real interesting. That child definitely has a way of coming up with alternative facts. And I get very upset because it's like, for why? You don't need to do that. But I don't want my heart to be hardened or to be bitter. What I want to do is exercise tolerance and patience and to meet her with kindness. Even when she on all six trillion of my nerves. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, just for today, I will do my work honestly. We just talked about that. And just for today, I will be kind to every living thing. Practice it on a daily basis. 31.30 on the phone. Daily. And we talked about body postures for health and spiritual development. That's what this is. Uh, somebody's at the front door. So we're going to have to go and see who that is. But until then, the next now, practice on some of these. Okay? I love y'all so much just like I love me because I love the Alpha and Omega that called and decreed me, made me by its infinite intelligence. Mm -hmm. The word that moves on the breath of life connects me to all things, connects me to you. And I love you. Until the next now, y'all. I say.